What's going on guys? This is going to be the first course that I'm going to show you. Um, just keep it super simple. You guys can kind of see something simple. I think this is if you're a beginner in Patreon or in Touch Designer, excuse me, um, and you're just looking to learn. I think this was like one of the cool ones that just gives you an idea and we can go into exactly what the hell all of these things do um, and then you can always switch it up and we'll have fun today because we'll add stuff and I'll add a tox right just if you're new to it or you're new to VJ and you just want to do something simple just add something add a layer and we'll add stuff to this today. You know, and I appreciate everybody who subscribed. I'm not sure if I'll make this one free, the first one free, but I really do appreciate everybody that uh, is subscribed. And we'll go through this. How to do it. Changes that you can make. And this is just a cool starting point. I, I always tell you guys, you know, met, go, go around and mess with this and you can do a cooler job than, than what I have. I think this is simple. And there's just so many options, right? Okay, we'll go back. We'll go back a bit. I think it gives it some flavor. <laughs> awesome, so. Yeah, I'm gonna do it like this. I did make a video before doing it from scratch and I'm like, nah. I'll give you guys a toe file for this one as well. But I just wanna go ahead and explain, you know, what exactly do what does everything do here. As you can see, it's not a huge file, but um, I think it'll be worth it. And here, I'll shut this off for now. Just so you guys can see. So obviously, we're going to start with the movie file. And this will go into a, a fit. You're going to use these resolutions, right, into your, into your input. And you'll see later why that, this is important. Um, it'll go into a math. Uh, the math. We'll stick. We'll stick to this one for now, right? This is this is my first course, guys. So just bear with me a bit. Just getting back from Portugal. Um, content for that should be dropping soon. That was pretty exciting. Um, I ended up getting a residency in uh, in with in with Rarible, so super excited about um, the content. And there's a few interviews that I did that um, I'll link when when it comes out. So excited about that. This will go into a fit. Obviously, we're gonna throw that into a null. All right, we'll put that into a feedback. And you'll see why um, this is important. Uh, here, we'll turn this on. And this is a keyboard shop, so as I hit the number one, um, it'll kind of makes it interactive. It's Pretty simple. This was like one of the first ones that I learned when I was learning Touch Designer. Um, just if you're VJ and all you have is your laptop, you can kind of tweak it and it can look cool if you got some music going. So, very simple. So, that's going to go into your feedback, your noise. And then, if you notice here, this feedback goes into the noise. This noise will go into the displace, but I'm also connecting this feedback straight into this displace. Um, just to give it that, just to give, as you see, I'm hitting that one, just to kind of give it more of a, a cooler edit, a better edit. Um, 
obviously this level and I'll turn it I'll try to turn these on uh, this is what you're gonna use to really kind of make it pop your levels obviously you got your gamma your opacity your brightness if you're you know familiar with Photoshop this is one of the ones that are super important yeah I actually like the way this looks this is, this is pretty sick and this is um, a point cloud photo of my buddy and I'll link his page uh, WXYZ so this is his this is his photo that uh, he did with the connect so pretty cool stuff then I'll throw this into a cop composite node excuse me and I have it on maximum but as you see if I went in there and mess with it you can glitch it out kind of give it that 3d effect um, I'll keep it on maximum for now just because I like it but this is another cool one when you kind of use your operations um, and yeah if, if you're familiar with any Photoshop or graphic design this is just gonna your composite is always gonna be kind of you a favorite for editing right goes into a level and that would go into a comp obviously we go into a node and then this is just a file out so we'll, we'll go here and I'll kind of explain this here this info and this math node you're gonna put this you're gonna put this info into the fit and that fit is just to keep everything based and inside inside a like a structure fit so it doesn't go off the screen everything kind of stays centered All right and then this math here is is goes directly if you can see into your displays so this could be a bit more tricky. But as you learn touch designer, you'll figure out it's it's not too hard. Um, your displaced weight and all of this. Uh, and maybe I'll I'll link a note to add onto it, but this is really not needed. This is just um, you know, if you want to edit. So if you can tell if I wanted to move it side to side I, I liked it the way it was right there in the center so we'll just keep it the way it is but this is very important this I just have it on oh boy sorry guys I am just getting over cold so and I'm on a laptop I should be on a desktop right Go into your displays, your level, your comp. Um, yeah, and I actually want to throw on something special for you guys. So let's see here. Um, yeah. I don't know what you would call this, but I just kind of call it the basic introduction into Tuck Designer. I think this was my very first file that I ever made. Uh, yeah, that I ever learned. So. Maybe it could be uh, the very first ones that you guys can start with. So make sh you really want to show that your info goes into the into your fit. That math will go into that displace. If you notice, this math will also go into the, this displace. So if you're not aware, um, you want to just click this little, I guess, cross right here at the bottom. And then you drag it like that. Um, obviously, I already dragged it. And then I think I did, you can do export to range. But what I would recommend is to actually try all of these. Learn all of these. So go ahead and do one export pre-add, export multiply, export post-add, export from range, export to range. Do all of it because once you see it, you'll be able to, to kind of decipher because maybe there's another file 
or another picture or file that you have in that might look better right if you tweak one or two things my keyboard shop is gone this one doesn't necessarily give me the best at it but I think it looks cool for this here so I'm gonna come here and I'll throw a, I'll throw a a tox in here yeah I'll throw a tox in here Let's do a video device. Let's do a video device and and I'll throw this talks in here. I think this this looks pretty cool. So I'll go into here. This is like my uh line blob tracking and we'll tweak some stuff in here guys sorry it's like 5 30 in the morning we'll turn this lot we'll, we'll turn this this let me go full screen sorry we'll turn those lines off And I'll add this talks in there for you guys since you guys are uh, the first people in my class, man. Let's go. Uh, we can tweak some stuff in here. Why not, right? Let's go into the blob track and All right. Do you like red? It's too early for red. Let's go white. Let's go green. Um, this could be a cool one too. I'll take that one off. I'll add my own text on there. Boom. Let's turn up the... Uh, Resolution that looks crazy. It's got a put rogue in there. We'll go to font, go to bold. We'll just throw something that looks a little cooler. We'll go to font size, we can mess with it. Change the color here. What are we thinking? We'll change the color of this blob track because it look, kind of looks like Christmas, right? With the red and green. I think that looks a little cooler. You can come here and you can change some stuff if you want. That doesn't look good. We'll go here. <coughs> um, yeah, if you want to tweak it, make it less, turn the threshold on or off. Turn that up a bit because it's not tracking as good as we want. That's better. We'll go back. So as you can tell, this looks totally ineligible. But we can go here. We can mess with it, right?
So if you notice, I am affecting the the words. And once you're able to like download your own font, I think it, it'll look cooler. Go to, let's see here. A little better. Right. Kind of looks like a rap album. So if you're just kind of starting out, I think this could be something that's pretty cool. And if you can tell here, I always like burn color, difference, my tweet, you know, cool glitch. Music going right. It's not gonna work out. We can give it a slight glitch right here. That'd be pretty cool. But we can go back to how we had it. I actually like the way that looks. That looks pretty sick if I had better light. <coughs> yeah, guys. I'll add this, I'll add this talks in there. Um, let's see something. We can give it some color, right? Why not? We don't gotta be all black and white all the time. Give it some color. Yeah, guys, just go in here and mess with it. First one. And we will be back with another one. And feel free to message, direct message on Patreon if you have any questions. Awesome. Thank you, guys. And we'll stop it.